Bible software. Do I need it? Shalom, or Haidete. I'm Doug, and I want to encourage you in studying the biblical languages, Hebrew, Aramaic, and Greek. In studying the biblical languages, a question frequently comes up, do I need Bible software to study Hebrew, Aramaic, or Greek? Well, I've used Bible software for almost 20 years now, and I've used it as a student, as a teacher preparing lessons, a preacher preparing sermons, and as a scholar doing research. And I have found it's highly beneficial for all of those uses and in multiple ways. But I've also found it's not for everybody. So the answer, do I need Bible software? Maybe, maybe not, maybe not right now. So let's talk about Bible software. It does certainly have benefits. You can access the biblical text conveniently. You can increase the size of it, which I like as someone with some challenges to my eyesight, especially when reading biblical Hebrew and Aramaic with the vowels and the accents. It's something that enables you to take a library with you on the go, many, many books at your fingertips. All those things are great, but there are some downsides. Sometimes it can be the expense, We'll talk about that in a moment. It could be errors in the Bible software. It could be compatibility issues with software and hardware that arise over time or failure of one or the other. But regardless of whether the pros outweigh the cons, Bible software isn't necessarily for everybody. So I say maybe. If you're a student in a program where your professor requires it, of course it's for you. If you're a researcher who needs to use the technical capabilities of Bible software, then of course it's for you. But if you're not doing either of those things, if it's not required, and if it's not something that you need for the type of research you're doing, then you probably don't need it, or at least not at this time. Now, some schools offer Bible software as part of the package. So you pay your tuition and you're getting it already. Sometimes uh, keeping it's contingent upon graduation. Certainly you'd want to know about that if you want to keep it, but you need to make sure you're not forking over money for something that's already been provided for you. And if you're looking into schools, that's something to ask about. Now, there are several different types of Bible software out there. Logos Bible Software and Accordance Bible Software are the top paid commercial Bible software products, and they are very good, and they offer extensive searching capabilities, library resources. Both of them offer easy access for beginners. Logos Academic Basic is free. Make your account and start adding free books using the Lexham Hebrew Bible, the SBL Greek New Testament that's provided for you with that product, and there's no cost to get started, though you can spend up to five figures on packages uh, with them, and you need to uh, to be careful and really assess what, what you need. Watch for sales. Accordance has a free trial, and it has a fairly low-cost beginner package. They have sales from time to time. But many people, all they need is stepbible.org, a free option. There are other free options, but this is my favorite one. And it's produced by Bible scholars and computer programmers, software engineers. Sometimes those are the same people. And they work together and are continually updating and improving what they're doing. And they have a global audience in mind. So this is free anywhere with internet access and can even be downloaded to a computer. And I highly recommend it. You can search for repetitions of individual words, for example, get a lexicon entry to look up the possible definitions of a word. You can do various types of searches. They have tutorials on their website. One of my favorite things is being able to open up side by side say the beginning and ending of a book and looking for inclusios by hovering over the word. I don't know any paid commercial Bible software that just lets me hover over the words and just see in real time results showing, oh, you have this verse at the beginning of the book starting with this. And then I see here toward the end, I see where it just lights up immediately. I find that a very helpful feature that even as a user of paid commercial Bible software, I make use of quite regularly. Stepbible.org, a great resource as are Logos and Accordance for certain people. So what do you need for Bible software? Maybe you need it. Maybe you don't. Bible software. Do I need it? Maybe. Maybe not. Or maybe not yet.